the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Lacey Swope. All right, Lace, back to school for almost 100,000 students across Oklahoma and the metro today. Oh, man, across the state, so many of the districts heading back. And, yes, we are talking quiet weather. So for folks that are yeah. giving up, getting ready, so many already out the door this morning. Things are clear. It's quiet. We've had some very light fog settle in in a few spots, but that's not causing issues at all on the roadways. And here's how we're shaping up across our Lucky Star Sky Cam Network. The sun just now up above the horizon, clear skies, a little hazy, still a little muggy this morning. Dew point values and that moisture in the air actually get swept out a little bit more as we go through the day. It'll be a little more comfortable than what it was yesterday. Yesterday, it was just thick. It was that type of weather where people say it's offensive when you step outside. You just feel it. Today will be a little better, but that heat and humidity builds into the weekend. It starts tomorrow. Let's go to the forecast for all the little bookworms heading in today. 60s and 70s out the door. 85 at lunchtime for recess today in the 80s. 90s coming up by 3 o'clock with a light east wind. Definitely a hot day. 93 degrees for the heat index later this afternoon. A few areas in the metro, the heat index could be a little bit higher. Areas that have had rain, the heat index will be hotter actually than areas that have been drier. But over the next couple of days, we all cook. Dangerous heat, 100 to 110 for feel like temperatures. There's a cold front on the way. It moves in Monday and the temps will come down as it moves on by. There's another cold front on your nine day. Had severe weather yesterday. There there was an August tornado watch in eastern Oklahoma. No tornadoes in the state. Those storms started to push off to the east pretty quickly. Dry on Next Gen Live, and we look to stay that way. Clear skies, 73 degrees with an east wind. It's 67 in El Reno, 70 in Guthrie, 71 in Shawnee, 72 in Norman. The coolest air is in the northwest. Oh, it feels amazing. Kind of a fresh feeling in the air from Buffalo to Woodward to Sealing, Putnam, Clinton, all the way over to Cheyenne. Low 60s, then upper 60s and 70s, and there are some mid to upper 70s further to the southeast. That cold front has stalled. It's really not going to make it any farther than where it is now in the south and southeast. Temperatures will still drop a few more degrees here in central Oklahoma. And then we quickly start to warm for your, towards your afternoon high. Winds 5 to 10. They're not crazy. They'll be pretty light through the day. It'll be more of an easterly breeze this afternoon. Lower 90s to upper 90s. Hot and humid. Far southern Oklahoma. Heat indices will be above 105. High of 101 in Altus today. Now, tonight there's a chance of storm. So tomorrow, as the kiddos are heading to school, there is a slight chance for downpours. It's isolated in nature, slightly higher just east of the metro, off into eastern Oklahoma. Right now, it does not look like widespread rain and storms into your Friday morning. That chance does go up for some Saturday morning. We'll show you that. It's a pretty active pattern. The heat dome, the ridge of high pressures to the southwest, it strengthens some, it builds some, but it doesn't just park itself, does not set up shop. It start, starts to get blazing hot tomorrow. Saturday, even into Sunday, few storm opportunities in the west and northwest. Cold front, it slides through. By Monday afternoon, highs are back in the 80s. So we do cool it back off. Drier air moves in. We try to heat it back up for a couple days next week. And there's a second cold front. To get two cold fronts in August in the same week, we will take it. That front moves through on Thursday. It's still a not as hot front. We're still hot behind it, not bringing us really that cooler feel just yet. That doesn't really start to happen until we get into September but we're nudging that direction. Lows tonight will be in the 70s. No coolness overnight. Highs tomorrow in the mid upper 90s. Triple digits down to the south. You turn on the humidity. This is the heat index for your Friday. 100, 110. Some areas could get as hot as 113 for tomorrow. That's excessive. That's dangerous heat. And then by tomorrow evening, thunderstorms try to take off in the panhandle, moving into western Oklahoma. Tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, storms try to clip the north and northeast as well. 20% chance in OKC. And you've been bone dry to the south and unfortunately your rain chances are still saying pretty slim by tomorrow night there is a low risk for severe weather into saturday morning early morning hours quarter size hail and 60 mile an hour winds are possible the afternoon temperatures close in on 100 on sunday cooler monday 80s low 90s for a couple days heat builds next week the next cold front is on thursday all right we're coming right back after this short break